my name is Alicia. This is my first video that I'm doing on this channel, specifically for my dental experiences and the new new things that I'm about to try. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to make my own video on my experience just because it's so hard to find people with similar experiences or the same, which you can't usually find. But I'm just going to put my experience out there for anyone that has something similar who is actually interested or anyone that does ask me questions about what I have, what I've had done, and what I'm going to do. So this video is going to be about mini dental implants or mini snap-on or snap-in dental implants. I'm going the mini route, so I'm going to, when I have my teeth extracted, they'll put the six mini implants on the top and four on the bottom, and then they're going to snap the full arch or bridge, whatever it's called, the, all the teeth on top and the bottom. So I will get all new teeth top and bottom the same day. This is My surgery day is Monday. And I'm a little, I'm very nervous. I have very high anxiety. I have a lot of issues with dentistry. My experiences, um, usually I have to be totally sedated and put to sleep to have extractions done. This dentist, um, when I told him that I've woken up traumatized before during surgery, during sedation, I wake up usually. And you can feel everything that's happening to you, but you can't talk or move. It's just very, somewhat traumatic. So he said, he, since they could sedate me, but he said he'd rather keep me awake and he'll give me something for anxiety and pain and then I'll have nitrous during the procedure with Novocaine and a Xanax or something if I want that. Um, so, <clears throat> so now, right now, I just have to get through the weekend and be able to get myself to this appointment without having a panic attack. And um, it's a life-changing thing. Like, you go in there looking one way, this is an immediate thing. So when they... When I go in, I'm going to have my teeth extracted, and then the implants placed the same day, and the teeth snapped in, and I'll leave with my new teeth. And that's scary, too, just because it's not a temporary, it's immediate. And I know from watching lots of other people's videos that there is all different ways that you can do this or have it be done. It can be a long, drawn-out process, or you can find a place that will do it all in one day. They all use different techniques. But the dentist that I'm going to, I know because I know his brother, who's also a plastic surgeon, who I had worked on with. Um, so I like the office, and I like both of the doctors, Dr. Shatkins. Um, I feel comfortable there. So that's why I'm going there. Um, currently, well, I can take you back to why would I need dentures right now. I'm 34. I have four children. Um... When I was, I, I didn't have any cavities growing up. I had my first cavity when I was 18. And by the time I was 20, I got married, got pregnant with my first daughter around 21. My teeth started breaking little by little here and there. So around 21, I got my first upper partial. And I don't have it anymore, obviously, but um, I had my two front teeth and then I had the, not the ones, these were missing. So I had these two, not these two. So my first partial filled in these two teeth and then a couple of molars and that lasted a few years maybe not even five that was just basic insurance whatever insurance would pay for but I was happy because I could smile so um, a few years later more things were happening and teeth breaking where the partial won't fit anymore so um, the new plan I paid quite a bit of money to get my top teeth these as good as they are and I do like them they're just, they're not all real. They, they're all root canals and crowns. And two, these are bridges. Two, three piece bridges. The rest is root canals and crowns. And then I have an upper partial. And then on the bottom, I only have my front, like, six teeth. One of them's broken at the gum line. So those are just coming right the fuck out. Like, we don't, who needs teeth? You know, I mean, but at the same time, yeah, you do need your teeth. And... I had a lower partial before. I've never been able to wear it. It was always so uncomfortable. That's just the reality of it. Most people, you'll see people talk about the fit and the comfort of the top and the lower partials, even dentures. The lowers are always worse, and they usually don't fit right. And for the amount of money people are paying for things, it just seems like it should. there should be a better option, and it shouldn't cost this much money to have a more stable option in your mouth. But I'm not somebody that's already had dentures, so... Like, I can't feel this, the struggles that they go through. I know that from what I've seen, I've seen it be a very uncomfortable process that usually results in a lot of just the same issues that we deal with when you lose your teeth to begin with. Depression and insecurity, just being so self-conscious, you can't, you don't even want to talk. 
And every time you talk, you feel like everyone sees it. But then you learn ways to talk so that you don't see it, you know? But who wants to do that all the time? You, like, hold yourself back. But I have the top teeth. I really do love these teeth. I And I'm not happy with the bottoms, obviously. That's why I'm going to do this. It was either do this or go back through insurance in, like, a few years worth of, like, the work and everything falling apart anyway and then paying more money and I'd rather just pay all one lump sum and just be fucking done with it all in one day and so I hope I don't regret it so I have a few days left I really I just wanted to put this out there so people knew um there's another person you can follow see how it works for me hopefully it's going to be good I know there's other options you can get the standard size implants you could do four on four you can do I could just get regular dentures. I could try to fix this all with insurance and whatever. I'm not going to go into tons of detail about my mouth like today. Maybe I will later. I did want to have a video up though that shows like what I looked like when I talked before my surgery. So um, that's what this is about. And I do try to talk so that you don't notice because I think it's distracting. Even when I see people and they're missing teeth and they talk or smile, it's hard not to look at that. It just draws your eye, even if you're not trying to look or be judgmental or rude. It's You can't help it, and it definitely influences the way people interact with you and see you, the way you feel about yourself and everything else. So, especially, well, just any time. But, I mean, I'm 34, and when I was 24, I got my first partial around that time. And I was thinking to myself, if I could just make it to 35, then I'll be okay with getting dentures fuck that I'm now I am almost 35 and I feel like shit I got a lot of life left to live and I could get dentures I definitely could and this is a risk I feel like it's a risk to go to the mini implant route if you if I haven't tried the dentures I feel like maybe I could have I could do that first and see how they are and if I can live with them live with them and if not then do the snap-on route because it's so much more expensive um like I'm doing the top and the bottom and so you know, it's it's the same price as if you wanted to, like... I mean, anything that's worth doing is going to cost money, especially when it comes to anything cosmetic, dental. You know, it just depends on if it's worth it to you and if you want to pay that price. And for me, I feel like if what they say is true and if this is going to make them stable in my mouth to where I can eat normal, speak normal, talk normal, laugh normal, and just be comfortable with how they look... And also be healthier because my teeth are just not healthy. There's no way for me to make them better than what I just can't. I can't. Like the dentists of all, I've all, I've seen plenty of dentists and they've all pretty much agreed. Like some people just have such weak, porous teeth that it, it's almost impossible to really preserve them. I'm lucky I've made it this long, but my concerns aside, well, my biggest concern is the surgery itself. And being able to get myself there without a panic attack and being able to sit there and agree to let them rip all my teeth out while I'm awake, even though I'll have nitrous. So that's the first thing I'm worried about is pain. The next thing I'm worried about is that for some reason the implants won't be able to fit in my gum tissue and there's going to be some kind of like, oh, we didn't know that moment. And they're going to be like, well, sorry, we pulled your teeth and you can't wear these yet. So you're going to have to just not have any. <laughs> that's like my concern, even though it's probably not going to happen. Another concern is that when they go to put the, to snap in the teeth, for some reason I'm thinking they won't fit right or they're going to feel so weird. I'm so used to not having my molars in the back bottom that I feel like when I have a whole full teeth of mouth again, or a, a whole mouth of teeth, I'm not going to know what to do with my tongue. I maybe not, I won't know how to eat right, which I guess that's not really a huge fear because I'll, I've learned so far with all the work I've had done. It spent thousands and thousands of dollars and hours and hours of work. I used to go to the dentist every week for a year straight to pay for this smile that I have right now, which isn't perfect either. You can see the attachment, the metal right here. And on this side, you can see this gap between a crown and that's a partial. And it's like a Medicaid partial. It's very cheap and basic. No detail or anything, which I didn't know much about dental like the cosmetics of dental but that's another fear of mine is that I'm going to see those teeth and I'm going to notice things that some people might not notice um I don't know because I don't know everyone's picky everybody you want what you want especially if you're paying money like this isn't an insurance dentist I had to 
finance this and I'm going to be paying it off. And um, so, yeah, I would like to make sure I'm going to get what I want. And there's no way to know that. You have to have some trust in them and what they do. And that's what I'm trying to do. So that would be my, my biggest fear is that after going through everything, for some reason the teeth won't fit or I won't be able to have them after all. And then I'll leave with my teeth gone and then in a worse condition than when I walked in. So, so I'm trying not to let all my fears get to my head because it makes me start thinking, well, should I even do this? <laughs> and now I'm just rambling. Um, so I'm trying to be positive and be excited. I'm going to walk in there like this with a jacked up s set of teeth. And then hopefully I'm walking out the same day with brand new beautiful teeth. They'll be a bleach white shade and they should be really pretty. I mean, they have to be better than this. I'll, I mean, I just want it so when I talk, it's not as noticeable. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> um, yeah. I guess if I post this and then people respond and have questions, I would be happy to make another video with more detailed answers and where I'm not all over the place because I'm pretty antsy. I just wanted to make sure I could get this video done at least and up so that I can put it on my channel if I make a channel. I was thinking about making one for specifically for my dental stuff. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, but if any, if you do have any questions or you have any advice, anything I should be doing to prepare myself, I've tried to buy food I can eat after. I don't really know how painful it's going to be and for how long afterwards. That's another thing I'm sort of worried about. Not too bad because, I mean, I've had a lot of dental work done, so I feel like I can tolerate quite a bit. Um, I think that's really it. I just don't want to regret it. I don't want to feel like, um... I don't know. I just don't want to have any regrets. I just really want to like it. I want to like my teeth. I want to like my smile. I want to be able to move on with my life and be healthy and happy. And I know that my teeth, they keep flaring up. They get infected. They get painful. So it's time. They're coming out. You know, I've done as much as I can. I've got DK above the, that bridge on the one side. So if I were to remove that one bridge, that's all these three teeth right here. I'm not doing that. I won't do that unless I take them all out. And then I will have all new teeth. I'm not walking around with half my top front teeth missing. I've done that before already. It's not like I haven't done that. I have. I'm just not willing to do that now. I'd rather have dentures. Because I'd rather have fake but nice presentable looking teeth than my unhealthy teeth. Obviously. So that's my opinion. That's at least how I feel myself personally. Um, Dr. Shatkins will be doing the work. I think I already said that. Um, and he's done thousands and thousands. He's done studies on the efficacy of the mini dental implants and the snap-ins. And he, so he knows a lot. He does has done this a lot. He's very, you could call him an expert in this field. I feel pretty comfortable going there. Now I just got to trust the process. And I guess I'll update this channel that doesn't exist yet because I haven't created it yet. But if you're watching this video, chances are I must have created it. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to go see what I need to figure out to do that. But other than that, thank you for watching my first video on this channel. Wish me luck. Hopefully it goes so well that I want to jump right back in front of the camera and show everybody my teeth. And um, I will take some pictures of my before. I don't really feel comfortable just showing everything here and like getting close to the camera and showing you inside my mouth. I don't want to do that. But I might have some pictures that I'll, I'll take some pictures at least. So I, if I want to use them after surgery, I'll have them. And then if I want to post them in future videos to show people what I had done and what they look like, we could do that. But for right now, we have like six on the bottom. All my teeth, I don't wear a partial on the bottom. I have no molars. And the top is all root canaled and crowned with two three-piece bridges and a partial. And maybe seven teeth total. So it's not going to be hor horrific. They only have to pull out 13, 14 teeth. But that's it. Now I'm going to try to be excited. Wish me luck. And I wish anyone luck that's going through this. Anyone that's having problems with your teeth. All you just can do is one thing at a time. Take what you can get. And try to be proactively making your situation better if you can. Even if it means dentures, it's not the end of the world. You know, I follow people, girls, really beautiful girls that get dentures and they get their teeth done and you would never know, but unless they're upfront and honest and they talk about it, 
And I think it's something that you should talk about, especially women. Like, I would like to see other women who have gone through the similar things and how they get through it and how they deal with it. And it's just nice to know there's other people out there going through it, you know. But that is it. Thank you. See you next time.